Welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Lalita. In this video, I'll take you through a demo on how to integrate PowerCenter 9.x with B2B data transformation. Basically, I'll be talking about the unstructured data transformation in PowerCenter that calls the data transformation engine to run the project and get back the output to PowerCenter. There are certain prerequisites. We need to have unstructured data option in power center license along with this there are separate other options for each file type for example for excel input file data transformation excel option should be there power center bit mode and data transformation bit mode should be compatible for windows informatica 9.x server and client should be installed on a separate machine there are three steps involved in this integration. Develop the project in Data Transformation Studio that converts the unstructured data to a structured form. Basically, it is an XML file. Deploy the project. The project will be created in the Service DB folder of the client. Second step is to create this project into the Power Center server machine where Data Transformation Engine is installed. We need to move the project to the service DB of the data transformation server. In the third step, create a mapping in Power Center that has unstructured data transformation. Going in detail, in the first step, we'll take a look at the data transformation studio. This is a data transformation studio. In this, we create the projects. So I have already created a test project. This project will take this text file as input and this is the output created. Once the project is developed, we'll deploy the project. Go to project menu, deploy. This is the service name and this is the directory in which the project folder will be created once you deploy. Deploy. The project is created. Once the project is deployed in the client machine, we need to move that folder into the service DB of the data transformation server installation. I have a Linux machine where Power Center and data transformation are installed. I'm navigating to the service DB folder of data transformation on the server machine. You can see I've already moved the test CME project to this location. Normally, we'll develop the project in a Windows machine and use FTP to move to the server machine. Another setting is we need to set the environment variables for data transformation so that Power Center can call the data transformation engine while running the mapping. These are the environment files that we need to source to set the data transformation environment variables. In 9.x, this script is called as part of the startup script of Power Center. In the third and final step, we will be creating a mapping in Power Center that has an unstructured data transformation that will call the data transformation project. For this, we will start with the source we need to create a flat file source that has one column so I'm creating a mapping with a flat file source which has a single column file path now we'll create an un structure data transformation we'll give a name UDT test service name will display all the services that are present in this client machine service DB folder I'll select as CME the input type I'll select as file because I'm going to pass the file path of the input file to the transformation output will leave it as buffer done I 
I'll link this file path to the input buffer and I'll add a target. So I have a sample mapping created with a f flat file input, unstructured data transformation and a target file. We'll save this mapping. Now we will create a workflow for this mapping in Workflow Manager. I've already created a workflow in this session. It's a flat file source and this is the flat file name .txt now this is the source file directory we need to create a flat file file input src.txt in the source file that will have the file path of the input file that we need to pass to unstructured data transformation click apply ok and save this workflow So I have a sample source file created and this is the file path in that file. Now we are good to run the mapping that calls the UDT. We'll start the workflow and we can see the workflow is running. The workflow has succeeded. Now I am in the target folder and we can see the output file that is created by parcenter. Test succeeded. This is the output that we saw in the client when we executed that project. So the parcenter has successfully called the data transformation project and returned the output and it has been written to the target file. Now we have successfully executed a power center mapping that calls data transformation project using unstructured data transformation. These are the document references. You can refer to B2B data transformation administrator guide and power center transformation guide unstructured data transformation. I have listed few knowledge base articles that might come in handy and these report some common errors uh, faced during the configuration of power center with data transformation. We would love to hear from you. You can send your feedback to support videos at informatica.com or you can use twitter.com info support. Thank you.